the legendary Ed Corney, who was born November 9, 1933, in Honolulu, Hawaii, won many bodybuilding titles, including Mr. Universe in 1971 and 1972, and Mr. America in 1972. He also won the Masters Olympia twice in the 60-plus division. Of course, for many, he is best known for appearing in the seminal film Pumping Iron. After high school, Corny served in the Coast Guard before moving to San Jose, where he worked as a bar owner and bouncer. A natural mesomorph who is known for his dense thickness, Corny was 27 when he started bodybuilding, and he won his first show, the Mr. Fremont title, in 1967. After which, he went on to win many other titles, including Mr. Heart of California, Mr. Northern California, and Mr. Golden West. By the early 1970s, he was climbing the ladder of shows in the IFBB, and he continued to compete in bodybuilding through the 1990s. During his competitive days, Ed Corney was 5'7 and weighed 195 pounds. Over his long career, Corney admitted to steroid use. However, he stated that hard training should be the foundation of bodybuilding, or, in his words, Bodybuilding should be, quote, 97% training and 3% steroids, end quote. In regard to training, here's a routine that we found from Corny's competitive days. You will notice the high volume and the reps in the 8 to 12 range for maximum muscular growth. It is a six-day split based on general push-pull routine. His Monday, Wednesday, and Friday routine revolved around pushing movements, although, interestingly, he also trained biceps on these days. Conversely, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, he trained pulling movements along with legs. Curiously again, he trained his triceps on these days. So, for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, his routine would start with bench press, a warm-up with 15 to 25 rep sets, then five working sets of 8 to 10 reps. It should be noted that Corny preferred a shoulder-width grip while benching. Then on to incline bench press, 5 sets, 10 reps, dumbbell flies, 5 sets, 10 reps, standing cable crossovers, 5 sets, 12 reps, one arm lateral raise, 5 sets, 10 reps, shrugs and sometimes different variations of the shrug for 5 sets of 8 reps, overhead dumbbell press, 5 sets, 8 reps, line lateral raise, 5 sets, 10 reps, barbell curls, 6 sets, 6 to 8 reps, concentration dumbbell curls, six sets, 10 reps, alternating dumbbell curls, five sets, six to eight reps, standing close grip barbell curls, five sets, 10 reps, and then on to machine standing calf raises, six sets, 10 to 12 reps, machine seated calf raises, six sets of 25 reps, before finishing his workout with abs, going through a routine, a circuit that usually included hanging leg raises to failure, Russian twists to failure, crunches to failure, and sit-ups to failure. Then, on the Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday workouts, he would start with back squats, six sets, 10 to 12 reps, leg extensions, six sets of 15 to 20 reps, and it should be noted here that Corny often held his leg extensions at the top for a count of three before lowering. Leg curls, six sets, 15 to 20 reps. Then, he would do bent over Barbell rows, which he would oftentimes superset with wide grip lat pull downs for five sets of 10 reps. Now, the bent over rows were done unsupported, meaning he had no chest support whatsoever. A lot of the old school guys liked to do this because it would build back thickness, it would also strengthen the lower back. Often, Corny would stand on a bench while performing the bent over rows, as he thought that this provided a superior stretch for his lats at the bottom of the movement. Then on to T-bar rows, six sets, eight reps, chin-ups, five sets to failure, one-arm dumbbell extensions, five sets of 10 reps, machine tricep pushdowns, five sets, 10 reps, lined French press, or what many people call skull crushers, six sets of eight reps, and then he'd finish with close grip bench press, six sets of 10 reps. Generally, Corny trained to failure with each set, and he was a fan of active recovery, he would oftentimes use static stretching as a means to maintain flexibility, and this probably helped with his incredible posing capability on the bodybuilding stage.
For more of these old stories, this history of physical culture, click subscribe.